Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. I'm standing in Blankenberger on the pier, which is actually quite an iconic building for this Belgian coastal city. It's unique, it's the only one the country has. And actually it was built in 19, excuse me, in 1895, cast iron at the time, but it did not survive the First World War. Then it was rebuilt in 1933 in this concrete monstrosity that you see behind me. And it would not have survived if the German army had its way because the uh, local officer, a, uh, a man by the name of Karl Heinz Kaiserberger, actually had orders to blow up the pier, but he ignored them and he became a bit of a uh, hero to the people here in Blankenberger. But enough already with the history of Blankenbergen and its pier. I am of course not here to talk to you about the city. I'm here to talk to you about a new whiskey. A new whiskey from the iconic Isla distillery Art Bag. Because for the longest time, the 10 years old was there and still is their go-to entry-level malt. But they br brought out a new one. A new one with an age statement, albeit very young, only five years old. I am of course talking about the new Art Bag Rebeast. Now you have to give it to Wardbeck, they've got some balls because the 10 years old is a staple whiskey and now all of a sudden they come out with this brand new whiskey with an age statement but only five years old Enter the wee beastie. Now mind you, it is a vatting of both bourbon and Oloroso sherry casks and it is bottled at a slightly higher strength of 47.4% ABV. So that might also explain why, why it's in the same price range as the 10. The 10 is only slightly less, less expensive. This is just slightly cheaper than the 10, even though, it's, even though it's only five years old. Many people tell me that's why they will not go for the uh, five years old wee beastie. And I think that's wrong. I think that's a bad idea. I think it's unnecessary and not even a very smart move. You have to give this one a try. Come on, will you just look at that? Beautiful, bright golden. 47.4% ABV on the nose. Well, it can certainly not hide its young age on the nose. Although there are no new makey or off notes or anything of that kind. But it's surprisingly sweet. I get like apples, banana, apricots even. So that's probably the influence of the, uh, of the uh, Oloroso sherry casks. But the, the, the peat is sweet and sour peat is there, it's unmistakable. The smoke is there, but it does not yet make this a maritime malt in my opinion. Like I said, surprisingly sweet though, but very pleasant. But after a few moments, the smoke does become a bit bigger, the maritime elements begin to shine through, and it does turn into a textbook art bag, but with a very sweet sight on the palate. This is indeed our bag. The peaty tang is there. Sweet and sour with lots of citrusy notes. Oh, this is our bag, definitely. But it does again come with this beautiful and very entertaining sweet twist. Again, some creamy banana, some, some, some candy-like notes, some Haribo bears even. And then this salty edge kicks in, returning back to Isla. Wow, this is actually quite lovely on the finish. Well, the finish is not very long, but it is very good. It actually offers typical peatiness, typical smokiness that lingers, and then some soft oak with some spices. Well, like I said, it's only five years old and it's almost as expensive as a, as a 10. So that might make you consider not to look into this, but you'd be wrong. This one is here to stay. This one is, is different. It's a different art bag and therefore it is an interesting art bag in my book and actually it's a great strength it's quite quaffable it's here to stay this one i'm putting in my cabinet right next to my my trusty old 10 years old and of course next to my two favorite art bag expressions the Cory and the Oogdal. but 
don't let this pass you by. Don't let the wee beastie, um, don't overlook it. You'd be mistaken. This is, at last, in my, in my opinion, at last, another lovely addition to the Ardbeg core range. And that's all for this whisky rambling, and I hope to see it one of Mark's whisky ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye.